Welcome to Australian Geology Travel Maps. I'm David Collins from Trilobite Solutions and in this video I'll show you how to save satellite imagery in an MB tiles file so that can be saved to your phone so that you can view satellite imagery on your phone in the field when you have no internet. I'll be using QGIS which is a very powerful program for making maps from raw data and for converting map projections and formats. It is absolutely free and runs on Windows computers and Apple Macs as well as Linux computers. Use version 3 or above. I'm using uh, sorry 3.8 or above. I'm using version 3.8 in this demo. Now the first thing you must do is create an XYZ tiles connection to Google Satellite Imagery. So here on the left hand side, um, the idea would be that you right click there, choose new connection and I've already done this. Um, today uh, in this demo I'll use the Google Satellite Hybrid and all I needed to do was to paste that URL there into that field there and then give it a name. That The name is just arbitrary, that's up to you. Now I'll put this URL in the instructional video uh, instructional videos page, page for you. Okay so now once that's created, then any time in QGIS um, to, to add a layer down here, I'll just double click here and then this appears. Now, sometimes it might just come up black like this if this happens. Um, by clicking on this button here, um, this uh, is the instruction to show the full extent of the, of the um, imagery. And so there you can see uh, the whole world. And for this part, for this demo, I'm going to zoom into Leonora. So just bear with me for a while and I'll just get this to the right approximate size. And yeah, I think that, that'll, that'll be right. So, um, so, so uh, now what I've done is I've picked the area that I want saved to the MB tiles file. So this is an area about 32 kilometers by 32 kilometers uh, centered on Leonora. Uh, now there's one other thing that I'll show you where you can um, um, come to grief, is that if this here is a cross, then this is not gonna work. So if we click on this here, uh, untick this, and we need to set up a, a projection um, so that QGIS knows what, uh, um, how to work, and the the sense the projection to choose is um, is Google Mercator, or the sensible projection to choose is, is that uh, nine double zero nine one three, because this is the projection that ends up being used in in um, all MB tiles files. So click OK. Now this is is correct. So um, that's correct. The area displayed is correct, and so we're, we're now ready to go. So here on the uh, right-hand side, we've got the processing toolbox. Come down here to raster tools. There we go. Um, expand that and generate XYZ uh, tiles in, in brackets MB tiles. So double-click on that. Now, just about all these fields are important. Now, the first one here. Um, what we can uh, choose, use canvas extent, so that basically means to, um, to use the area that's shown there on the screen. Minimum zoom, that's important. Um, make that three. Um, if, it, if it's not a small number, when you zoom out, the map will just disappear um, from the phone. Um, maximum zoom, 17 is probably quite an uh, appropriate maximum zoom for satellite imagery if you if you zoom in much further than that, you're actually going beyond the resolution of the um, satellite imager itself, so you're not actually gaining every, anything. And every value that you, you uh, um, that that you, you go further in, um, the size of the MB tiles file is is tripled. So if if I went to max, maximum zoom 18. Uh, the file will end up being about three times the size of going to maximum zoom 17. Uh, we'll just leave that value. Um, change this to JPG um, quality 85 uh, because that will that will 
create a slightly smaller file than using PNG. And then finally, we'll save a file, name the file. I'll just go into downloads here and I'll just call it Lee and Laura demo. Save, it automatically puts .mb tiles file, files, uh, sorry, mb tiles as the extension. So click run and then you can see that it's going away and it's generating all the levels of tiles um, within that file. Now, the, the first levels it does quite quickly, um, but, but then as, as you go deeper, um, it's got more and more data to collect, and so it takes a while. So what I'll do is I'll just close that, uh, because I've already um, been through this process. So um, let's see. So that's the one I cancelled. This is the one that I've done earlier. So this one was the, the same area, uh, satellite imagery down to zoom level 17. And that's a, roughly 200 megabytes. Now, um, if you make it zoom level 18, that'll end up being about 600 megabytes. Now, we can copy this down to the phone, but before that, we can look over it. If you install MapTyler, and this is just the free version, we can actually choose to have a look at this before we copy to the phone. So once we've seen it in MapTyler, if it all looks fine, uh, well then it's going to be fine on the phone as well. So there you can see Leonora. So this is this would be, um, here we go, no, wait a minute. So that would be zoom level three which is the minimum zoom, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And so now we're at the maximum zoom. Um, and so this gives you an idea of the resolution of the um, in the file, and you can you can zoom in further, but all that's happening is that the image is just being stretched. So you can see these are just sort of tending to blur out a bit. Let's see. And so this is going to be the exact quality of the satellite imagery when you copy it to the phone. So we'll go out of map tiler there. Back to this screen. Um, and then the last step is, so you've got your MB tiles file there, and the last step is to copy the uh, MB tiles file to your phone via your USB charging cable and there's a couple of instructional videos um, on how to do that for both Android and Apple devices. Now, um, if, um, if that's all you're interested in, well, um, uh, that's all, all you need to watch with this, with this video. Uh, but um, um, I'll, I'll also cover um, at the end of this video um, now um, reading uh, imagery from a, a WMS server. So um, we'll actually take that off and come up here. And um, most, if not all, uh, of the geological surveys um, deliver some of their imagery through a WMS server. Uh, now, in this particular case, I'm using. Um, a WMS server supplied by the Geological Survey of Western Australia or DMIRS and what they do is they publicize the URL of their WMS server and so you find that on, on their website now I'll be copying this one also to the instructional videos page um, and so once, once you've got the uh, URL of a WMS server from one of the Geological Surveys pasted in there and again, you put in a name, but that name is arbitrary. You can, you can put in whatever you like there. So we'll just cancel out of, that, out of that. And then if we expand here, we can see the various um, images that they've got available. 
and for this demo I'm going to use that one so I double click that one and, and, and it adds a layer there and also total magnetic intensity oh here we go we went to mag yeah I went to magnetic maps and I just double clicked on this this first one so this is a, a colored mag total magnetic intensity um, image so now if um, I tick on that one now it's retrieving it from a from a server across the internet so um, as you can see it's not instant um, and the speed that, the, that that appears will vary depending on your internet speed um, but um, that's similar to the um, gray and white imagery that um, that's that's available by default in um, Australian geology travel maps and then the other one that I defined here was the topographic um, mosaic for the state and what you and so you can make an MB tiles file using the um, process uh, that I that I just showed you with with either one of those so that um, and any other images at all that that you you can basically any image that you can view in QGIS you can create an MB tiles file for. Um, I'll also show you a little trick here that what um, what I did was um, with this one here with this here went into the properties adjusted the transparency so it's um, so that it's only 40 percent opaque 60 percent transparent in other words and I've and so by having it on top of the um, uh, topographic mosaic you end up with this nice combination of of information again you're looking at a slowness because it's coming through the internet now once you put it into an MB tiles file well then it's it's um, pretty well instantaneous because then it's all local but but yeah you have quite a nice um, combination there and so if, if, if that was the area that I was interested in then at this point just move this back again I can just go here I'll just wait for that to sort itself out and I can create an MB tiles file of that now with with this type of information you're not going to go down to zoom level 17 um, because it's quite pointless um, about zoom level 12 or 13 is sufficient for, for these sorts of images because um, that's that's basically the resolution of the data Okay, um, I um, hope you uh, enjoyed this demo and um, enjoy using Australian Geology Travel Maps.